in the motherfucking building, baby. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. Oh my god. We're in, baby. Computer is. The Asus is I think the, failing. What is? The, the Asus? The Asus. I think the Chicoms hacked my Asus, dude. Who? I think the Chicoms, the Chinese What's that? communists. You think the, the commies are... <laughs> I, I think I've heard chai comms before. I don't know what it means. Hopefully it's nothing bad. Hopefully it's nothing bad. No, I've, I've heard it. If Jones, so. Jones is always like, and then the chai comms. Uh. Oh, wow. So I think oh, wait. You're getting slangs from Alex Jones? Pretty much, yeah. All right. So I'm, just, probably not I'm just shooting at the hip. It's probably not our best. I think, they sent, I think they sent some Huawei waves at my Asus, dude, and took it out. I've never even heard of the brand of computer you have. I don't I've never seen one other person with an Asus. Asus. This is just like some Korean. Asus. This is, I think Asus is just like some like Korean factory worker side hustle. As us. <laughs> oh, you think it is? As us? No. No. I think it's Asus. I'm telling you, I think they hit my. They probably hit my rig with Huawei waves, dude. And just they know. computer They're plugged to, out. Because they know we stand with Hong Kong. Obviously. They know we stand with Hong Kong. For sure. Don't trust China. <laughs> China's fucking asshole, dude. China is asshole. <laughs> oh, no. Dude, actually, I'm a fucking asshole right now. Why are you asshole? I think my, my, my mom, I, 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 I fucked up a little bit in the family group text for like my mom, my entire mom's side of the family, because my, uh, my one aunt's doing Christmas, having everybody over, which is going to be tight. I can't wait. But the... Um, in my head, I was thinking, I'm like, you know what? Because they always get a beach house every year. They, my, yeah. my mom's aunts get a beach house. And I'm like, I the last couple of years, I just feel weird going down there because I'm like, I'm too, like, I should be like either contributing or like getting my own place. I just feel like it makes me feel like a little kid. Yeah. Going, I just, I don't like it. It's weird. Yeah. I mean, I'm happy to be down there, but it's just like, so I thought this weekend I was sitting there, you know, obviously I was out near the Great Pacific. I'm reflecting and I'm like, you know what I got to do? I'm going to send a thing to my family text, like the, the mom side while they're all gathered in the Christmas dinner group chat. I'm going to tell them like, look, this year I'm going to get a beach house, take the load off the geezers, let them save up for like a safari. You know, I think that'd be nice. But they, so they save their money, let them go do something cool. But I, my examples were an African safari. Or go to Thailand for sex tourism. <laughs> How did they feel about that? No, dude, it was not well received. <laughs> really? No. So I was talking about my two aunts. I was like, let them go to Thailand for sex tourism. <laughs> oh, no. You push boundaries. <laughs> I push boundaries in the group chat. Damn, dude. Wherever you go, you're pushing I boundaries. I couldn't, dude. Well, in my head, I was like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, it, I, it was such a nice sentiment that I'm like, yeah, I want to let these guys like go actually like travel. Outside of the tri-state area, I mean, they've been to like Ireland. That's it. <laughs> so yeah. like, like say, it was, dude, like a beach house at Sea Isle is like fucking twenty five hundred dollars a week. So yeah. if I get a bunch of my cousins, every can... white trash person, that's like their Hajj. <laughs> they have to return to Mac. They have to get to Mac. They have to make the pilgrimage once to go to Ireland. <laughs> you go to like three bar crawls, take a picture in front of a hill, and be like, literally. Yeah. It was so nice to be home. It's I just, could tell it was my homeland. You just get on Old Navy fleece and stand in front of a hill, and you're just like, yeah, dude. Yeah, went to Ireland. I can die now. Yep, so they've been there, obviously. I think they've been there like twice. So they've been to Ireland twice. So I wonder if plays there next season. Who do they play against? Uh, Navy again? They in play Ireland? Navy, yeah, in Ireland. Season opener. I might make the trip. The crowd's going to be sick. That would be an awesome trip, Yeah, that'd dude. be a fun trip. Out to Dublin, 2020? Yeah, man, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Gotta go. I might do that. Yeah. Michael Neal might go with you. Tell Neil to go. <laughs> he probably and then will. we're gonna. You know what? After Dublin, where are we going? Where? Thailand. He honestly, Michael Neal was the tourism. only person to say he liked it and said, "I'm down for some sex tourism." <laughs> <laughs> so he probably will go with you. Yeah, man. Everyone else is pretty. My my little sister kind of spaz. Everyone's being just negative. I'm O'Connor like, is always on sex tourism. True. He'll he doesn't go. have to go to Thailand. He'll go anywhere he goes, dude. He brings Thailand here. Kipsy is <laughs> Thailand. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty funny. I thought I thought my family would appreciate it, and I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, you know, I, I gotta I gotta jolt their Catholic souls, dude. They need to loosen yeah. up a little bit, man. It's like the, the word sex tourism. It's just like combined with like the idea of my aunts and one thing. Like, dude, like people were texting me shit. Like, did you say that on purpose? It's like, <laughs> like what are you guys ten? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, our yeah. aunts have sex. It's fine. Loosen up. Did I tell you? Did we talk about my grandma's funeral? No. Was that we did. Week? We you and I spoke about it. Was that before the cast? Or yeah, it was before. I was after we recorded. The last, it was the most recent. It was right after you dropped the history. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After the history, I drove home. Exactly. After the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had the had the funeral. It was good. So you dropped the history app and just went dropped, right into dropped the horizon. The history app, put went home, got home at like one a.m. Had to wake up for a funeral. Woke up to my dad just banging on the fucking door. Oh, he is he, such a motherfucker. He, was he like, let's go? Yeah. 
about waking you. It just three punches on the door. It scared the <laughs> it scared the fuck out of me. And then I'm like, what? Like I, you know, you wake up furious. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck is your problem? And he's like, ah, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I knew it. He's such a fucking dickhead. That's literally his what? favorite thing in the world is waking me up. That's it's, it's the best. It's nothing he likes more than waking me up. It's the best, dude. I, oh, the on fucking Thanksgiving Eve, I came home mm-hmm. late, got home at like four thirty in the morning, and he was he was obsessed with it. He was so happy. He's like, and guess who I heard <laughs> creeping up the steps <laughs> around four thirty in the because he was downtown. He was having parties, <laughs> like just <laughs> loves it, loves talking shit, and then loves waking me up the next morning. Oh, of course, loves waking me up at like nine eight eight thirty nine the next morning. But well, what's the matter, bud? I, I've talked about it before. You've you've been in that basement. Mm. There's a fucking light right above my bed in the basement that you mm. could just turn on from the th- the top of the steps. Oh. When I lived at home, he would literally just walk by and turn that on in oh. the morning for just, no reason, just to be a dick for no fucking reason. You'd be like, what are you fucking sleeping all day for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had that like drilled into me. If I'm like, if I were ever to like sit idle in my house, my if my mom caught me like not in the state of motion. She would be. What are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? You want something to yeah. do? You want? Are you bored? Because I'll give yeah, you something I'll, to do. I'll give you. I'll give you something to do. It's like what the fuck, man? I, can I, I just got home from school. Uh, are you bored? What is? It? Turn this off. What are you watching? Turn this off. It's like, dude, you wake me up at eight a.m. on a Saturday, but get out of the house. Or I'm going to give you something to do. You want to do chores? You want to go outside? I'm like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Just woke up. The funeral was tight, though. That's what's good up. funeral. Did you really have a good one? It was a nice funeral. Yeah, if someone's old enough, the funerals are, tend to be pretty tight. Yeah, it was nice. Everybody was pretty relaxed. Uh, what was funny is like standing in that line, like mm-hmm. you know when everybody comes in and, like shakes your hand. Yeah, you were in like the. I the was. Grieved. I was kind of on this. I was on the outskirts hanging out, but sure. everybody that came up was like, "Sorry for your loss." And that SNL thing was just literally every because it was all people from my hometown. Oh fuck! That's just, so I had to talk funny. for five minutes. <laughs> they literally said sorry ten for your- <laughs> seconds about my grandma. Yeah. And then four minutes about SNL. People just shook your hand like, sorry about SNL. And once you're yeah, yeah, sorry yeah. about the lady. <laughs> yeah, entirely. Uh, That's actually funny as hell. Uncle gave a fucking tight eulogy. Did he really? Real tight. Yeah. Hit the fucking notes. He crushed it. Did he really? Yeah. And I also didn't really. Oh, hilarious. Did he My, slide a piece of paper out of his breast pocket and put it he down? He had like four. He had like really. He was a good writer. He had some really well written thing. That's what's up. Pretty sick. Made me like my grandma a little more because she was always like very serious and stern, mm-hmm. but she kept that same attitude like when tragedies would happen. Like she was, she was pretty Great Depression mindset. Yeah, she was pretty unshakable. Like a do- her daughter died, her yeah. fucking grandson died. Do you have a transcript of the speech? I could get it. I'm gonna fact check it. My uh, I'm gonna fact check it like they did to Roots with Alex Haley. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, actually, uh, that didn't happen. <laughs> my fucking aunt died, and then my cousin died. Her son, the same. Same fuck, like a month apart. When was this? Uh, late 90s. Damn. Yeah, like around there, early 2000s. Was that part of the eulogy? Well, yeah. Fucking, like that changed our family for forever. But gotcha. like she was very stern and like kind of never, never showed weakness about that. For sure. Like was never like, woe is me type thing. Did she live in America or was she from? She she was American. Okay. She was American. Yeah, back then it wasn't like if your sibling died, it was like. Yeah. Wasn't that Her big? dad was a monster. Really? He was talking, in the eulogy, he talked about that. Bare knuckle boxing champ. Jesus, Insane. man. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. So that's her dad. So that's what she comes from. Yeah. She came from a long line of like psychos. He probably beat the fuck out of her, dude. If your dad, if your daddy's a bare knuckle boxing champion, From fucking World War One, coming home all PTSD, and you're you're his sweet little P dude, you're getting he's knocked probably around beating a her fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. What were the? What did he get into? Like her early life and marriage and everything? Uh, yeah, she married my old grandpa, old Jack Kilkenny. How long? Did he, how long did he? Uh, he died when I was in like eighth grade, seventh grade. But gotcha. the, I, the the whole time he was alive, I never really. He was already. He was like dementiaed out. Yeah, he was chilling. Dude. That's what's up. Yeah, he was straight chilling. Fifty first dates, fifty first dates every time. The Notebook, <laughs> yeah, all that. That's what's up. The Notebook with a, like an Irish immigrant, like a stern fucking like nothing loving. Just woke up like, I am your wife. We've done nothing together. That's good. <laughs> just like eat this. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was all right. That's what's up. Sick funeral, dude. So you got, you, got, you just had like a little party time afterwards. 
Nice little party. I had to get back. I had shows. Sure. In, had shows in the big city that night, dude. I had to say, yeah, peace out, fam. Later, guys. Peace out. Uh, my niece sang. That was pretty funny. At the funeral? Dude, I laughed the entire funeral. At the wake or the funeral? At the funeral. She What'd she sang. sing? She went up up on the balcony with the sang in, in the church. What'd she sing? Eagles Fuck wings? I forget. I forget. Probably. That's what's up. It was, dude, I was, I couldn't, I can't be in church. Yeah. I laughed the whole fucking time. The <laughs> what whole else time. did you laugh at? I don't know. Well, Katie was like, my niece is about to sing. She's like, she's about to go on and sing. Mm -hmm. And then it was a different lady singing. It was like clearly an old woman. There was like, oh, and I was like, is that her? Like, I don't know. Katie saw my face when the lady started singing and be like, what the fuck? (laughs) This is what she sounds like. (laughs) So we laughed at that. You can't turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just, yeah, nothing. Oh my God. I was asked to read. I said, no. Yeah. You said, you did say that last time. I was like, I can't read. There's no way. And thank God, because the reading was, at the end of it, the last line of the reading was like, and the coming of his son. And for some, dude, that killed me. You think you would have just last? The last sentence being the coming of his son. <laughs> I was in the pews just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sick I, funeral, dude. I had a bad case of the giggles the first night. So I went to California for four days. The first oh, yeah. night I got there. Out in Cali for four days. No is, big deal. That's, is what it come is. Come on, bro. Come hopped, on. Just hopped on a Southwest jet, went out there. Dude, The uh, I had bad gas. I had really bad gas. Like the two days leading up to that, like like excruciatingly, like every 45 seconds, bad gas. And the uh, so when it was like. You were farting every 45 seconds for two days. Dude, no bullshit, man. At least, like when I idled, like at nighttime, for sure, it was like it was like, every <laughs> every couple minutes I'd lay in bed. Engine was revving, and then if I would like, idle. if I would move a little bit, it just fart would tumble up. I'm like motherfucker, it was it was ridiculous. How did your lady take that? I w- I'd excuse myself from the room. <laughs> this is what I do. So I'm naked at bedtime. Yeah. So I excuse myself. I get naked at bedtime too. Yeah, I'm, I'm butt it's fucking sick naked. Being naked at bedtime. It's awesome. But then I'll be when I have to excuse myself. I just walk out into the hallway naked <laughs> and fart as loud as I can. <laughs> yeah. So then, like, I was doing other stuff where, like, I started getting bored. Like, I kept farting so many times. So, yeah. Like, eventually, I started doing stuff where I would like, <laughs> if I couldn't, if it was like kind of rumbled in there. Yeah. I would walk up and go into like kind of like a. I guess it would technically be like child's pose for yoga. Yeah. But I do something similar to that and then just like open my butthole and just be like. Did you open it enough so it's like. <sighs> no, I, I was still getting vibrato every single okay. time. So like, but even still, I would like bend down the frog pose and fart. And I lift my leg. I was like, dude, I'm doing a different pose every single time. And they like, it's like at one o'clock in the morning, dude. I'm like waking up to fart. Dude. And then I started squeaking them out at nighttime. They were so bad. Like I've woken her, I've woken her up with farts before. Smell or sound? Smell. You've woken someone up with smell? Yes, 100%. It's tough. That's, that's insane. That's tough stuff. That's insane. Yeah, man. It, it, well, I, I just switched back to like primarily plant-based again. Okay. So I was like, I got to go back on for two weeks. So like, I had a hard amount of beans enter the system in like a 48-hour span. Mm. And then I had a lot of treats. I was in Chicago just a week before. Yeah. So I had a You've lot. you traveling. Of, I've been moving, Chicago, dude. Cali. Dude, yeah, how is what sick it is. is the Cali weed, bro? I had no weed out there. No weed? No. Oh, man. How but dope is the fucking Cali, Cali weed? Cali weed is fucking sick. Cali dude. weed is fucking sick. Love the fucking gnarly shit out there. Cali, yeah, Cali weed makes up. It's so funny because when I, it's like when I'm in California, the last thing I wanted to do is smoke weed out there. Yeah, I just be, I don't know what it is. It well, just, you're uncomfortable out there. You're not as comfortable. I'm comfy. I, lo- I love. You like it. I love California. Yeah, you get you're a West Coast guy. I am. I'm. I'm basically. I mean, I'm. I'm either. I'm not. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm SoCal or NorCal. Yeah. I mean, I think I'm Dago. I think I'm San Diego to the to the bones. But I mean, I definitely can you hang might be out. Diego to the bones. We call it Dago. Me and the really? boy, me and the boys from around the OC. We call it Dago. Why do you guys call it Dago? D A G O, dude. That's the tat you get if you're from San Diego. You put in D A G O because there's really? a, there's a group there's a gang up there called the I E S. So you don't want to write out San Diego and have I E S because if you don't fuck with that click, you know what I mean. If you're in a white, you know, if you're in a white power crime group. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, so I was farting hard. I was just f- farting on the airplane. Hard dude. farts, dude. I'm sorry to cut Go you ahead, off. Go ahead, please. It's a, it's a story about it's a nine fart. minute story about farts. You can cut me off. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to jump in with a story about farts. <laughs> One of like you know like a church fart, unbelievably funny. School oh fart, my God. school fart, and church fart, top un, un, unmatched for sure. Um, but one night we on the ND trip. Mm-hmm. Me and three of my friends were sharing a hotel room with my one friend's uncle. 
who had come with us and he, he had been drinking a little so he was like pretty much passed out uh-huh. dude my friend dusty did exactly what you did like fart every 40 <laughs> seconds as hard and loud as he could and he kept putting his ass against the hotel wall he'd be like oh, God, oh, God. and he would get up he would laugh so hard dude <laughs> and uncles farts, are rusty the uncle was asleep <laughs> and we kept trying to wake him up with the farts that were the loudest fucking farts and against a wall I, it's. I mean, it was one of those where against you had to like, the hotel wall, against a hotel wall, oh. and like tr- trying to hold in a laugh when that was good. It was the, oh. I think we, we did it for like an hour, just the loudest farts. Dude, holding in a fart laugh is Nirvana. Oh, it's, man. it's like the highest state of it mental. Really is. It like, really is, dude. dude. First of all, I was laughing thinking about like uncles are basically fart shamans, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he should have fucking. He's probably awake the whole time. He's like, probably awake. He's like, yes, yes, young yeah, men. Excellent. Yes, these are growing young men. <laughs> dude, nice. <laughs> I've been I've been kicked out of buildings several times for the fart laugh. Oh, really? I got suspended for in, a fart laugh at Saint at, in, in middle school. <laughs> Dusty again. <laughs> Dusty farted off a pew <laughs> during Stations of the Cross. During Stations of the Cross. So, yeah. like, every year we would always laugh during Stations like, of the Cross. It's anyway. like supporting a terrorist attack. If someone Dude. farts and you laugh in school, they're yeah. just like, you you too. You're out. You're fucking out. Well, that's what happened. The teacher was like, the teacher freaked out because the priest was, <laughs> the priest stopped. He's in the middle of fucking Stations of the Cross. <laughs> And every year we used to always laugh. We'd be like, because it got to the one thing that was like, and the Jews yelled, crucify him, crucify him. So I don't know. We always fuck him. Yeah, that's funny. But Dusty farted very hard. And I got, she was like, you're going to detention. Or that's a pink slip is what it was. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, but Dusty farted. And she was like, that's two. You don't say that in here. You're suspended. You can't say like, fart in church. Yeah, I guess. I did yell, Dusty farted. That's true. Well, you, it, you were, I was, yeah, it was, I, I remember I wasn't doing it to be funny. Wow. Your teacher punches pilot you during Twice. Stations of the Cross? During Stations of the Cross, she crucified me. <laughs> crucified <fucked> me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. So like him and you and one of your other friends, you're like, yes. the, you're like the robber. I couldn't deny him, dude. True. I was Barabbas. Dude, you should have threw fucking a fucking... Fucking O'Connor is such a dumb dickhead. Is he beeping in? He's just ringing the doorbell. Here, I'll be Let's right do it. Right. Chris O'Connor, welcome back to the cast. Yes. Oh, I love you wait. so much, dude. There we go. We're good. I'm so glad you're here. I love you. Yeah. Have you um, spent the whole episode talking shit about me or something? Not at all. No. Not once. <laughs> Never. You weren't even brought up once. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, you were. What's mine? We were talking about sex tourism, and I said, anywhere you go. <laughs> it's time. Yeah. yeah uh, we were just talking I'm school right. farts. Uh, yeah, we were talking general farts. And, uh, yeah. Well, then it, was, I, it was. So I was, talk, I was telling. I, basically, I was telling a very long fart story. Set across multiple locations. <laughs> it's like it's basically like the story of my trip to California started with like the two days pre like prior to me farting just constantly. Yeah. So Shane had a very good story about his friend farting so bring in stations some of farts. the cross. And this is Dusty. Dusty was sounds like a good farter. The best farter of all our friends. <laughs> that includes me. And I can you you guys have heard that I lay down some bass. You do. The smell. You're not bringing the smell. No smells, dude. Just. A, just all about that bass. I get the full laser light show, dude. It's all the... It, yeah, it goes... You get the fog machines rolling. Yeah, mine's like Universal Studios. You know, they have like the little mouse tails tickle the back of your legs. It stimulates all the senses, dude. Cinema 4D or whatever. It's IMAX. Um, Dusty was also the guy who... I told you that. We, he used to shit differently in school. Like, he would come up with a funny way to take a shit. And then we would all go watch him shit. Oh, fuck. Like then the last time we did it, he was laying, he was holding himself up on top of the stalls, with his hands, with his like in his, like a gymnast, yeah, and his body in like the shape of an L, like so his legs were straight <laughs> oh, out, my God. holding himself like, up is like, like this, a pike or something like that. What yeah, it's and a pike when you dude, raise your legs. I just and he was like his pants were off, <laughs> so he's wearing just the top half of like a <laughs> Catholic school uniform, like just like a sweater vest and a white button down. It'd be great if his pants were still on but unbuttoned it at his ankles and he was like balancing <laughs> them. His belt was dangling. Dude, he. I just remember so vividly the effort he was making because that's hard to hold yourself up. You kidding me? Yeah. Oh, so his face was like darker. There was nothing funny to this. No. <laughs> for him, there was nothing funny. He was very serious. And just like a tiny turd fell out. <laughs> and there was like 15 dudes in the bathroom. They're like, oh. <laughs> our math teacher came in and was like, what the hell is going on? And Dusty was up there. Like, <laughs> what's, anyway. he, what's he up to now? Uh, he's, he's home. Chilling. He's the fucking man. Back dude. in Canaxburg, balling out. That's what's up, man. Um, but yeah, he. I remember that he farted and I got suspended, and then I went out in the hallway and cried. 
Yeah, it was like, all I fun and like, games. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, dude. I was a little old to be crying, too. Yeah. It was like sixth, seventh grade to be crying at school. Yeah, well, that was a great injustice. And, like, people were walking by. I remember students walking by and seeing me crying, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and then I was also just, like, trying to explain to the teacher, like, you have no idea what this is going to... Like, I'm going to get fucked up for this. Yeah. Like, you just are writing down my name on a piece of paper that is just an ass whooping. Yeah, yeah. That oh, was the sure. And that was the time I went home, showed my dad. He was mowing the lawn, and I just held up a pink slip. Oh. And he just let go of the mower and was like, get upstairs. I went up to my room, and I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then I heard him slapping the belt on oh, the way up the steps. And no. I was like, fuck that, no. <laughs> <laughs> Did you explain to him his circumstances? Didn't even have to. There was, there was no time, dude. Oh, no. There was no time. Oh. Yeah, I feel like that. that's also my parents' attitude was like they don't want to be involved in school. Get up on that. Yeah. They don't want to be involved. So it's like even, yeah. Then you got to hear that your kid's a punk. Yeah, well, it's, un, it's, it's undisciplined discipline from your parents. Yeah. It doesn't work. They're like, dude, why did the teacher call me? And I want to kick your fucking ass. As if you're going to be like, oh, dude, yeah. Should have kicked my ass. Now I'll be so good in school. <laughs> well, I, I did straight, fear yeah. the fuck out of a pink slip. Yeah. So, it does I mean, work. So did I, but I still got them all the time. I got them all the time, too. Mine, dude, if I came home with the pink slip, it was on site. Yeah, it was my on dad, site. My dad would see me. It was on Didn't site. Didn't ask dude. why. Just immediately. <laughs> Just a punch. Usually it was just like a quick punch to like the chest or the arm or something. Yeah. Nothing too serious. But on this the occasion, belt the belt. The serious. But he wasn't that serious with the belt. He just scared He, he, he was, rattled your cage. It was just to scare me. He wouldn't hit me that hard. Yeah. It's also terrifying. It's so scary. Yeah. I, you know, I'm fucking 12. Phil's yeah. jacked. You're catching Phil the belt. Phil was a big boy. Especially if, if he's. This was the height of his power. He's, he's cracking like 45. it. 45. He made a circle with the belt and he's cracking yeah, it on the cracking way up. Cracking it on the way up the Yeah, steps. that alone is terrifying. I made him laugh though when he did that. This is a this is a corny story that sounds mm-hmm. fake, but he was like, "Oh, you think you're funny?" He's like, "Do you think you're funny? What are you gonna do the rest of your life thinking you're funny?" And I was like, "I'll be a comedian." <laughs> <laughs> and he started laughing. And he walked out. <laughs> Pretty funny. That is funny. Yeah. Should have gave you. But the no, belt. the shame of like taking your shirt off and laying on the bed to get whipped in the back. <laughs> That's a dog. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> Did your mom ever kick your ass? Yeah, she would like slap or like hit you or something. But you ever call the tag team? I used to catch the tag team every now and both? again. Both parents would be like the fucking uh, the the rude, the naughty boys. Dude, well, your dad would get tagged in the first swing from your mom. Your dad's tagging in because <laughs> yeah, it's probably weird to watch. It's probably weird to watch your wife hit somebody. You know what sure. I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. You gotta it's jump like in. Uncomfortable, so you're like, all right, I'll take it from here. Yeah. I don't want to see you hitting the kids. Yeah. Usually, my mom would Herb McGee, but every now and again, she would. If it, if I like, if I did something that was jacked up enough, my mom would jump in, dude. Yeah, and I had older <laughs> sisters that would get fucking rocked. Yeah, I've watched. My mom would hit the hit the sisters <sighs> a lot more than me. I've seen like teenage not girls, like, not like hard, but yeah, like yeah. a slap. A I've slap seen in teenage the face. girls get their ass kicked, and it's uncomfy, dude. Uh, bro, it's just like I saw my dad hit my ones. <laughs> Wasn't my mom? I should be ratting about like <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My mom, my mom wasn't. Uh, my mom didn't jack up any teenage girls. Oh. I've I've been places where I've seen teenage girls getting beat by the parents, and it's just like whoa, yeah. it's just super yeah, but uncomfortable. They about yeah, it's just they don't take it well. <laughs> the the yeah. noises coming from it, it's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The dude is just like whoa, oh, oh, stop, Dad, I'm fucking you. I'm yeah. sorry. See, then yeah, it's, it's tough yeah. stuff. My uh, I'll tell the story. Fuck it. Uh. My sister was out. She stayed out party night. Really? And she lied about where she was. <gasps> and she even had her friend that she lied and said she was sleeping in her house give her a ride back to my parents' house in the morning. And my, my dad was like, I'm going to give her one chance to tell the truth. Then he walked up to her and he was like, in the front yard. He was like, where were you? And she said her friend's house. And he punched her. <laughs> where? What, just like in the chest? Yeah, 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 yeah. Not in the chest. I think in the belly. Yeah. <laughs> Popped <laughs> her with a body shot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just on site, dude. Oh in the front yard. God. In the front yard. <laughs> she said oh she God. she came up smiling, like walking up the driveway, like trying to hide. She was probably in her head, like fuck, fuck, fuck. Why is he out here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the same guy who punched and his. He showed a pop in skeeter right in the yeah, belly, right in the gut, dude. He's, dropped oh her. Oh my God. <laughs> and then walked back inside. Let her. Yeah, man. That yeah, was back when you could punch your daughter in the stomach. Yeah, this was what just a Saturday morning and. Yeah, were you Probably watching Saturday cartoons? Or Sunday morning. Did you? Were you just out the yeah, window, yeah, yeah. just peeking out? Yeah, dude, wild. <laughs> yeah, do you remember what your reaction was to that? I think I laughed. I think it, <laughs> there was no fear. Like I, it, when your siblings get hit, it's great. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's, on me. It's so fun to watch your. Yeah, yeah, the siblings yeah. getting beat up or like slapped. I remember watching my mom slap my other sister. 
That's pretty. And it fun. was great. It was really fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck! But dude, so I'm a. Uh, we were talking before oh, yeah. you came so here. You're ripping farts. I'm farting, dude, on the uh, <laughs> on the flight. So I was like trying to hold it in, or whatever, just to kind of you know have some respect. So the I went to Chicago for the like overlay or layover, whatever it's called. There for an hour. It's an overlay. Overlay. Is it? No, it's layover. No, it's layover. <laughs> so then I'm, I'm sitting there. I, I get out of Chicago. I'm, I'm pretty much holding them in for the most part in Chicago. Let out a couple bubbles. No big deal. Yeah. I hop on the one from Chicago to Los Angeles. And I'm like, dude, my stomach's fucking racked oh, with man. gas. I'm like, fuck this. And dude, so I, I get my seat. Some big fat black dude comes and sits on the outside of me. He's like, I just feel like big fat black dude. They're most like, they're the most like gregarious dude. They're all, he comes on. He's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? And we're yeah. like, you know, I'm like, oh, great. This, is, this will be fun. The plane fills up. Two like 19 year old girls are the last two to come on. And there's like, there's a seat between us and one behind us. Dude, earthquake, dude. It's literally just goes, like, you like, mind if I sit there? And he pats his lap and he's like, come on, go ahead. And I was just like, oh, fuck. And he looks at me. He's like, ha, ha, ha. He's laughing. I was like, that's pretty fucking funny, bro. And then they, uh, the girls were just like, oh, that's so crazy, blah, blah, blah. And they were just like laughing it off. White chicks? Yeah. 219. Dude, these are party time college chicks, dude. Oh, my favorite. So they're just fucking, yeah, dude. They're just like, eh, oh, my God, you're so silly. So then she sits in between us. And, uh, dude, the whole time this guy's hitting on this chick. This guy's like 40. This girl's like 19. He's like, what are you guys, like 13? You guys look like little girls to me. <laughs> like, dude, yeah. I was just sitting there like, oh, my God. It's a good God. place to start. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. starts nagging them. Instantly age nags them. And, dude, honestly, in my head, I'm like, dude, that's fucked up because that is exactly what works on 19-year-olds. Mm-hmm. But you guys look like little girls. I'm like, no, we're not. We're big girls. <laughs> so he's fucking. Yeah, we can do big girl things like these slots. Well, dude, the whole rest of the time, they're talking about, like, drinking, how hard they party. Like, and then there's a Love dude it. behind them. Who was just going like jerking off? Oh yeah, I'm actually we're all flying to L.A. So the dude behind us was like their age, maybe a year older, and he'd be like, "Yeah, man, I mean, I'm probably gonna blaze as soon as I get as soon as I get off the plane." I hate your fucking plane, dude. It sucked. You guys suck, dude. I'm if, just, if if I heard a group of like, what are you guys doing talking on a plane? They were yeah, they were having like they were like all like cool, laughing at like, each other, fun. But it was it was like that, but it was just a bunch of people trying to fuck two 19 year old girls. Yeah. So then, like, the 19-year-olds started kind of, like, playing, like, games with each other where they, like, kick each other's seats and stuff. And I'm, I'm sitting there reading my book, dude. I'm, oh, I'm reading Holden the... farts. I, well, at this point, now, loaded. all bets are off. Now I'm, like, these fucking two girls need to smell some farts, dude. So I'm sitting there, like, <laughs> I'm reading The Road Less Traveled. So I'm reading this book about, like, spiritual growth and, like, like how, like, it, it's all about, like, a, a... Did you talk to the, par- to the party girls? They briefly kind of probably jumped in there a little. Nah, they you would, saw it was fun time going around on the plane. Everybody's not at all. like, "Oh, dude, I was reading, I was reading a book about just like yeah, that's your deep approach, psychological exactly. stuff." Yeah. You're so like, then I was really disgusted by this dude next to me, <laughs> just like all this weird shit. He was, I was, I was disgusted. I was just kind of like, "Dude, will you shut up?" So I'm sitting there, but then it's a fat guy. What do I do to fat guys when I got to fart? I fart and I blame it on them in some level. Very so like, easy. He kept getting up and going to the bathroom. So I'd let him go to the bathroom. As soon as he come back, it would just be like a literally like a bu- 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 like a bunch of little bubbles, maybe like sixteen, yeah. like a sixteen bubble fart, dude, putrid. <laughs> <laughs> and then like he'd get up, go away. I'd wait, wait, come back down. Bu- 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 and I was just wow, ripping ass. Hitting the dude. rumble strips, dude. <laughs> rumble the whole time, ripping ass. Um, and they stunk. Did people? They're pretty bad. No one said. No one said anything. No one said anything. Could you visualize some? I dude, I, my grimaces? my nose was in a book the entire any time. Any grimaces? That's when. That's is there anything better than a plane fart, and then you see a grimace? <laughs> <laughs> Impossible not see, to laugh and I, give exactly, yourself away. Yeah, exactly. So I like, dude, I had my hood up. I'm just reading a book, just fucking. I'm like, Very <laughs> clandestine. At one point, yeah. at one it's point, like Shawshank when he's matching like hitting a pipe in the thunder. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Dude. Well, at one point, I was kind of a uh, perfect, started... perfect timing a fart with a fat guy getting up. Is oh, dude, I was t- I was timing. <laughs> Dastardly, <laughs> and he and he kept going. To the, I guess he was like kind of has like ADHD. This guy went to the bathroom, like, or he was just shitting, or he was smelling your farts and being like, "Fuck, not again! <laughs> Fuck, I'm doing this." Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's like, "I'll get up, and then they'll know it. it's not me." <laughs> yeah, dude. Meanwhile, he didn't know who he's up the criminal mastermind he was up against, dude. Just framing him. Oh fuck! I was crushing Damn. this dude. <laughs> you made you did making a farter. Yeah. You framed a simple fat man. <laughs> it was so funny because like he. I kept trying to map these chicks, and I kept farting. <laughs> <laughs> it was just killing them, dude. Oh. <laughs> I was Man. fighting a good fight, dude. I was just sitting in my seat, just fucking just letting That's them out. That's as good. I protected Airplane. those girls. <laughs> There's no way it's that philosopher in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Dude, for farting. that long, <laughs> you're breathing just in there farts, farting all fart air. Yeah, I mean, if, if I'm on a plane, I, I just let them go. I don't. Is that fart poisoning, dude? You get yeah, down. It's too crowded. No one's gonna identify. Yeah, the dude. So I'm fucking. Well, that's what's. That's a benefit of being a little guy. <laughs> I, I know I'm number your one. Suspect's number I'm one. Number one. Dude, yeah. being a fat guy flying is like being an Arab flying. <laughs> <laughs> you feel as bad. Far like as far as, as, far as <laughs> everyone's looking at you. Everyone's kind of looking at you. Like, what are you gonna do on this flight? <laughs> Please don't sit next to me. I was, I was thinking about like when the sky marshals aren't busy, they just go out, walk around, and investigate farts on the plane. <laughs> Come to the fucking back right now. <laughs> What's that fucking do? <laughs> Who fucking did it? We got that Ghostbusters thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been fried, dude. It was like, <laughs> dude. So then, like, I get off the plane finally, and uh, I go to, I like, I get up with my, I meet up with my friend, and then we go out to eat. So we meet up with, like, his, and I, my, I was on a total empty stomach. I didn't eat all day because I'm like, let me just get all these farts out of my stomach. I don't want to add any more fart fuel. I'm going to get them all out by the time I get there. So I got most of the farts out of my system. And then he go, he's like, you must be hungry. So we go and eat. And I hadn't eaten all day. So I eat this, like, we go to this place with these, like, it's like Chipotle, but for salads, kind of like sweet green, I guess here. But this yeah. place was like, dude, it was unbelievable how fucking good it was. So I put down like a three course meal. You're a West like, Coast guy, dude. Exactly, dude. So I go down. It's like grass fed steak over fucking iceberg lettuce with like fruit in there. I have like a dessert, all this other shit. I eat it as fast as I can, and I get like that like literal stomach cramps because I had to fart so hard. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god. So I come to, the, I go to the bathroom, walk in. Some dudes in the urinal, and I start peeing next to him. So I'm like. Whoa! <laughs> I let out a screamer, dude. Fuck. And I'm like, wait, do people not do that over here? You let out a black cat. I let out a black cat. <laughs> I was like beating a cat inside of a bag, dude. It was like, a, and it was like I could, you know, those farts. You're like, if I keep pushing, this will probably go on forever. Like, yeah, do you yeah. ever go on a date and then you like don't fart for like four hours yeah, and you get in your car? Yeah. It was like a post date fart. So I let a little bit oh, of that out. Man, what I, a good fart that is, dude. Yeah. Or like if you sleep in a chick's house and when you leave in the morning, same, dude. <sighs> or as soon as she goes to sleep. No, no, dude. <laughs> no. I've done fart? that. Though. I yeah. spread my ass cheeks and fart. Yeah, yeah. If they're asleep next yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. spread my ass yeah, cheeks. Yeah, yeah, just dead. pull one up. <laughs> it's going to stink, though. No, my farts don't smell. True. Dude, mine and Sometimes do. you just got to chance it. And you got to risk yeah, it. Yeah. If it does smell, it's hilarious. True. <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right away. Dude, so then like I, I, hold, I cut my fart off. The guy leaves the bathroom, and I'm like, oh, finally I can fart. <laughs> Dude, I fart for like <laughs> literally 10 seconds. I'm just like... <laughs> And then I see feet in the stall and just start dying laughing. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm just at this point, I'm like possessed, dude, by this fucking fart that I just let oh. out. So I'm like, fuck, this guy just heard somebody fart and be like, <laughs> oh, dude. and then a door shut. So I walk back out. It's my friend and his girlfriend. I can't keep, I can't keep my face straight. Finally, I get to the table and I start, the girl's saying a story and I fucking just lose it. Yeah. Like, what's so funny? I'm like, some guy just farted in the bathroom. <laughs> I couldn't say, I couldn't know it up to it. I yeah, just yeah, met yeah. this girl. So then I eventually, she went to the bathroom. I was like, dude, it was actually me who farted. Whoa. He started, yeah, I let it. It was a, quite a twist. But dude, it was, I don't, maybe it's just, you had a, you had a no, little. No, no, no. A urinal, a urinal fart is up there. 